Hey guys, so um, I thought I was going to come back with a few extra videos before the new year and then I only really posted one after my moving update video and I said oh I'm not going to say happy new years yet because I'm planning on posting more videos before happy new years, no, before the new year happens and then I didn't, I only posted one and I didn't tell you guys happy new year. So happy new year, um, I hope this is the start of something new for everyone, I feel like I had a big change that I told you guys about, you know, new house, new year, new me. Who knows but um yeah hopefully a lot why is my laptop not charging new year new laptop please charge don't do this to me oh god I don't really know what happened, but something happened. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just wishing everyone a happy new year. It is January 2nd as I'm filming this, so I don't know when this is gonna come out, but I'm wishing everyone just a happy new year. Um, I'm just checking if I'm in focus. And a lot of the time I am, seemingly so. Anyway, today we're talking about Alex Earl. This is a slightly older story, but I wanted to cover it anyway because I think it was like lighthearted and fun and fresh, kind of. So. Alex Earl, you guys know who she is, um, massive um, TikToker, basically blew up doing Get Ready With Me's because she went to University of Miami. No. Why did I do this? No, it was like, you, it's all about the you. That's all I know from her TikToks. Um, and um, she did Get Ready With Me's for clubbing. She went out a lot. She drank a lot. She seemed like a very relatable queen. I think that's what everyone kind of liked about her was the relatability of a messy person who is messy inside and out just like a very schmegler regular girly except she wasn't schmegler regular she was beautiful she was rich from a rich family i mean there are a few controversies along the way like her family being trump supporters and her dad cheating on her mum with an escort and then going on to make that escort her stepmother and like just a bunch of stuff like that but people kind of loved it it was messy it was it was you know whatever we then found out that she's not the cleanest of people. Um, she showed a house tour. I'm gonna try and find it on TikTok, but there was a house tour and at one point, I mean, after going through the whole mess of the house, she showed um, a cockroach house that she has and like apparently they wouldn't clear out the cockroaches. They would just like kind of be there. And it was just not great, I guess. Um, and there is this drama channel on TikTok that I'm, you could say just not a massive fan of. I mean, I hate her content. <laughs> honestly um anyway um i don't agree with a lot of the stuff she says but um she said she said that she wasn't making tiktoks about alex Earl saying that she's glamorizing depression i don't know alex Earl personally um i mean me and her are not friends i don't know who she is in real life um but one we don't know if she's depressed two to me alex Earl doesn't look like depressed messy once again now i'm saying this as like i don't know if she has depression she could have depression she could have mental illness i'm saying to me alex i'll never seemed like oh i'm glamorizing like kind of a depressed messy thing to me she's just a party girl who doesn't have time to clean her house that's the vibe i always got it's never felt like she was glamorizing depression because i feel like depression wasn't like a topic of conversation um it was always like i'm going clubbing for the fifth night in a row and i don't have time to like clean my toilet obviously um but yeah some people had an issue with the messiness of the house some people didn't some people thought it was relatable because their house is also messy or their room is messy and they just felt understood and appreciated i guess is what i was gonna say oh my god why am i hiccuping um now that kind of was like that then she finished uni she graduated and she had moved out to an apartment in miami with some friends and um she seemed to be posting a bit of content like oh you know this is now like a clean fresh apartment and everyone kind of maybe expected her to grow up and i do understand she did um say this in a recent tiktok she was like 
I was doing the same stuff at uni and everyone thought it was relatable and fun and fresh. But now like the moment I graduate, everyone just wants me to be a 30 year old, like mom of two. Um, she's like, I'm the same person. It's only been like six months since graduation. I'm the same person. I'm not gonna change it within six months. I might change within a few years, but not a few months. I mean, I'm gonna try to find that. There's so many TikToks to find. Whenever I cover these TikTok like stories, there's always just like, I'm gonna try and find this TikTok. I'm gonna try and find this because I try to remember stuff that I see on my For You page and then I can't find it again. Uh, but I'm gonna try and find everything. She was basically just saying like, a lot of people expect me to just be completely different. Oh, it actually wasn't a TikTok. It was a TikTok clip that I saw off her podcast. Um, her podcast comes in to play here a lot because she ends up exposing a lot of things on her podcast. Um, so, um, I understand what she's saying in the sense that she is technically still very young and she's about as young as she was when she was at uni. Like her age difference isn't, like I said, she graduated about like six months ago. So like the, the age difference isn't there. So she's gonna act the same, but I feel like it's, her behavior was acceptable for a student and now people think it's not acceptable for like a rich, 20 something year old living in a penthouse in Miami. Like people kind of expect maybe more from her. Um, and she is still drinking a lot. She did recently say that she's not gonna go sober because she thinks like sober for X amount of days that everyone's doing the 75 hard thing, which obviously Tana is doing 75 hard. She's not doing 75 soft or 75 hard. She's doing 75 something, but it's not hard or soft. Uh, but Alex said that she could never do it. Like that's way too much um, of being sober. So clearly she's still in the mindset of like party hard, go crazy. Um, that whole thing. Okay. Now, I get all of that. I, I, I am a very clean person and I understand not everyone lives the same life that I do. I don't like mess. Um, I, I don't mind like a bit of clutter, but even then my mind just goes into overdrive. Um, I need things to be organized in a way that I like it. Um, I need things to be cute. I need things to make sense. I just organize my makeup again and everything is like organized by lip gloss and what finish and I don't have skin tints with foundations and I have pressed powders separately from, you know, I'm very specific in the way that I like things to be done. I don't like to sweat. So if I sweat, I shower immediately well as soon as I can. Um, I don't like to have anything on my hands if my hands feel ever so slightly not neutral. Um, they get washed, that's why my hands are so dry because I just keep on washing my hands. I am very overly clean. I don't wear the same clothes more than once because it grosses me out. I know it's not great for the planet to be washing your clothes so many times. I don't throw them away, I just wash them. Um, bed sheets, towels need to be super clean. You know, that whole thing. Um, and so maybe I'm not the best judge of Alex L because I'm so on the opposite spectrum of her. I also don't really go clubbing much. I'll go out like once every other month or once every other other month. But I'm gonna try and come at this from a very neutral perspective. She recently posted a TikTok where she found a dress in her wardrobe that she had in there from her last birthday because her birthday just passed. Um, so she had it in there from her last birthday. Bear in mind, in that time she moved house, which means she moved with that dress. Anyway, after you watch the TikTok, you'll be disgusted. But she's kept a dress that she's thrown up on in her wardrobe without cleaning it. She said she was meaning to clean it, but then she didn't. And then she ended up moving house with it, which is like even more disgusting because she packed it with all her clothes, smelt it again, probably, because there is nothing quite like the pungentness of sick. Like sick is a very specific scent. And if you smelt it, you know, um, we've all smelled a bit sick and it's disgusting. Um, which means every time she opened her wardrobe to get dressed, she would smell it. Every time she, well, when she moved and she packed, she smelt it. And when she unpacked, she smelt it. And also it's like, I imagine, I'm also very sensitive to smells. I think that's the problem. Um, every time she put on clothes, I know for a fact her clothes smell like sick. Like even the clean ones smell like sick which now when you go on her TikToks in the blue, like, you know, the, the like in comments, it'll be like people looking for this. It kept on saying like Alex L stinks or Alex L is stinky, which I hate to be the person that's like, oh my God, this person stinks. But like you willingly took a thrown up on dress, put it back into your clean clothes wardrobe and then kept it there through changing, moving, and all sorts of things. Like you kept on smelling that thing. I know you did. Every time you opened the door, it like wafted at you. I just know, I know for a fact it did. So I know that your clothes stink and that's fine. I mean, it's not, it's kind of disrespectful to everyone else to walk around willingly 
with your clothes smelling like sick. Like I actually think it's actually quite disrespectful, but besides the point, um, that happens. She posted that TikTok, people start kind of um, posting their like reactions to it essentially, or like it started actually blowing up quite a bit and it stopped being like, haha, this is cute and quirky. And it started being like, this is weird. Like, why would you willingly tell us that? Um, so for example, I think the first TikTok I saw on it was a girl that said, um, just going on with my day after waking up to see Alex Earl selling her new, her year old puke covered dress on eBay for a third of my yearly salary. Now I actually looked into that and there is a picture, there's a screenshot of an eBay listing that she's selling the dress for 8K. Now I'm hoping she has washed it since then, but also you already posted on TikTok that this dress has been thrown up on for a year, as in not consecutively every day you're throwing up on it for a year, but you threw up on it and then for a year, you kept that sick on there. At this point, put the whole dress in a bin. Like, do not sell that dress. Even if you got it cleaned, even if it doesn't smell anymore, that's disgusting. They were sick on that for a year and now you're selling it for like 8K on eBay. I don't know how true that is though because I only saw a screenshot of this listing, so, you know. And the <coughs> why am I dying? Oh, yeah, so it's actually eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine point two five. So I don't know if that's actually her, but there was a listing of it on eBay. Maybe someone just making a joke. Then people figured out she was obviously got the podcast that she signed um, to Alex Cooper's like production company, essentially with Madeline as well. So there's obviously Hot Mess with um, Alex Earl, which is her podcast now. Um, I listened to a few episodes. I think, controversial take, I really like Alex Earl as a whole. I never had an issue with her before any of this, and this is not gonna put me off from like watching her content. She's just not necessarily someone I would want to like share a house with, or like share clothes with, or share a bed with, or like share rooms with. I think she's someone that is probably really lovely over like the internet. Like, I think she's great over the internet. I just think maybe me and her just, I, she would drive me insane. That's like the whole point. And she doesn't want to be my friend. That's fine. Like, I'm not saying like, oh my God, Alex wants to be my friend. I'm like so popular. I'm saying like, if it came down to it, I feel like me and her would butt heads because we're so very different. Now, I also think she's not a podcast person. To me, the way she tells stories is very made for TikTok. And I just find her podcast a little bit like, oh, she was just offered the opportunity to do a podcast and she took it and that's fine. Like everyone's allowed to do whatever they want to do. But at the same time, I don't think she's necessarily a podcast person. I think she's a TikTok person. I think she's a reality TV person, but I don't think she's a podcast person. She's not someone who like, I'm like listening to a podcast being like, oh yeah, this is such like podcast content. I feel like anything she says could be made into a TikTok or just like a bit of reality TV. Anyway, she then told everyone that she, um, and, I mean, there's like newspapers writing about this now. So Daily Mail wrote, TikTok sensation Alex R, 22, she's 23 now, reveals she peed through her Madonna costume at Halloween before her white bodysuit was left visibly stained with blood after not realizing she had started her period. So this was also on her podcast. You guys will get the clip from her own mouth. But um, yeah, as she said, as she said, I have nothing to add. She decided to pee through two out of three layers of her outfit instead of just taking the outfit off. I've never... There is no, I can't imagine anything what, this is why I say like when I sweat, I have to take a shower. I hate liquids on me. Like any extracurricular materials on me. Like anything that's not supposed to be on me, can't be on me. And she's just willingly pissing through two out of three of her layers that she's wearing and then got the got her period, which is like, you get your period, periods happen. We've all stained. I've bled through duvet. My period's really heavy. It's always been where, when I would go off birth control, and then I got on birth control, my period's gone completely, which is a perk because I've got really heavy period and just like awful period, you guys know. Um, so now I'm back obviously off birth control. Shit happens, you know, it's fine. But the moment it happens, you do your best to mitigate the situation. You don't, and also like, let's say I'm in, I don't know, where would I desperately need to be? Um, let's say I bleed through and I'm like, at a funeral where I have to stay. That was morbid. I hope to not be at a funeral. But let's say you're somewhere really important, right? You can't leave, like you have to stay. You're gonna put toilet paper in your underwear. You're gonna like try and find a new pair of trousers to wear or like figure something out, right? If you're just out clubbing, you can go home. Go home. There's no reason why you would need to stay out. You've already pissed on yourself. Now you've bled on yourself. Go home. 
you're just clubbing like you you literally go clubbing every day of the week is that one night so important that you have to stay out i mean i get this halloween but just go home um and then she has to tell another story on her um podcast where she shouted in front of a guy when she was out at like a pool party which is so disgusting anyway i don't know if you guys have ever been to a pool either on the pool or like around the pool or on the website of the pool it will say that if you had diarrhea within the last 24 hours you can't go swimming because you're obviously just spreading the particles of diarrhea all over the pool that's obvious common knowledge right i think the same should apply if you sharted within the vicinity of the pool that you should go home there should be like a requirement that you go home after you shot in the general area of the pool that's what i think anyway but i'm not alex oh so um essentially she was talking to a guy she was wearing a light pink bikini oh i've just kicked everything i could have possibly kicked she was talking to a guy in a pool also i don't know if i understood her correctly i think she was standing in the pool when she shouted which makes the story so much worse and i hope i'm misunderstanding it um so she's ow she's talking to him and she gets a little bubble in her stomach and she shots and so she leaves and she goes to the bathroom now when i say leaves in my mind that means she runs home very fast no to alex oh that means she goes to the bathroom takes off her bikini underwear like bikini bottoms washes them in the sink <laughs> so there's just like shot on her um bikini and she's washing it so she, now she's got poo under her like nails so she's washing it and then she puts it back on and then she goes back in the pool surely this is gross like surely we can all kind of collectively agree that this is like really gross this is really disgusting like surely we just all kind of this the, the baseline like agreement that we can all come to is just like this is gross that's disgusting that's actually absolutely fucking rank that makes me never want to swim in a swimming pool ever again i'm already a bit iffy about it because i just know people are not washing the same way i'm washing but that's just my little control freak situation like i that's fine i can like look past it a little bit now i think about the fact that someone's like shouting in the pool and they think it's a genius idea to just go to the bathroom and like hand wash their bikini like this because i know that's the fucking hand movement she was doing she freaking so one of these i would throw that bikini away there's like no way in hell i would ever put that thing back on me like that's getting thrown away she decided to hand wash it and then i bet i bet she came home and just like threw it into like her they didn't even bother to put it in, the, in like the washing machine she's like well, i already washed it so it's already washed it's already clean i'm just gonna put it back in my bikini drawer i bet i don't even be surprised and the thing is i i really like alex l i really really like alex l i like her content i like who she is this is kind of where i draw the line though like let's um i keep on looking if i'm in focus that's why i keep on looking down there um anyway and then she said and she said that with almost like a level of annoyance that one of her friends um they used to use that like oh, i don't know what it's called we had like kick back in the day and like ask a fan where you could anonymously send questions and stuff to people so around kind of when she was at uni um there was this thing where you could anonymously submit like tips about people at the uni and someone submitted a tip saying oh alex i'll shat herself in front of a guy in a pool and then like stayed out and the thing is the only people that knew that were her friends so one of her friends from her friendship group sent that tip in and like that would be me i'm just saying this now like shady all shade all tea and all shade that would be me in a friendship group like if one of my friends sharted in a pool went and hand washed her bikini and then came back out to the pool and then told me about it i mean in the moment i would obviously say like yuck but i would also probably send that anonymous tip that was me i'm saying this now that was me I was hanging out with Alex L and that was me. I sent that tip in. Uh, because that's actually disgusting and I'm glad that like that friend was like, I'm just going to warn everyone that Alex L does that stuff. Because people deserve to know. <laughs> people deserve to know. Anyway, um, it was just a bit gross. And then I watched the Do We Know Them girls cover this whole thing and they're like older than me and like probably more responsible than me or something. Even though I consider myself pretty responsible. And they were talking about how even the way she talks about going out and like ending up on like random men's yachts and going to these like exclusive parties that are like out of the way and like waking up in someone's like car in a car park and blackout drunk and it's all fun and it sounds relatable and it sounds really quirky and cool and like she sounds like a cool older messy friend but at the same time it is 
if there are a lot of younger people watching her and they're looking forward to reaching the like age where they can start drinking if that's how they're going to start drinking that's really irresponsible and it is sending a message that like getting blackout drunk around strangers is okay and safe and getting wasted on a stranger's yacht is safe and you should get on a random person's boat and that's how people get murdered like that's how a true crime case starts and that's where you end up on a podcast but not the right kind of podcast like a true crime podcast um and i agree like i think jesse as well was saying mainly how it's just irresponsible to basically portray drinking to be like this like if you drink you don't have to drink like this you don't have to drink like alex oh you don't have to do these things that are really irresponsible um you can just have a few drinks with your friends and go home like you don't have to bleed on yourself pee on yourself poo on yourself throw up on yourself um and then end up on like a stranger's yacht you can literally just go out with your friends to a bar have a few drinks go home maybe take off your makeup maybe not and then go to bed um so i think there is a level of like we can all laugh about the fact that she's like throwing up on her dress and putting it back in her wardrobe because that all seems a little bit harmless in the sense that like i find it disgusting but at the same time she's not hurting me and she's not really hurting anyone except for people's nostrils and people's like hygiene um but i do have to agree to a certain extent that in not encouraging but glamorizing irresponsible drinking is something that she is technically doing so I just, I just want to know what you guys think about any of this. Um, and yeah, don't get angry at me if you're an Alex L fan. I also like watching your content. Um, I just think some things are maybe best left in the drafts. Um, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment for engagement. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.